Leslie. I'm Eric. And we are heading out. Um, Eric has finished his job early. Yay! <laughs> so we're hitting the road, heading back toward Dallas. But we're going to um, swing by um, Austin. We'll get an opportunity to see our grandson and some good friends. And tonight we are going to do our first boondocking at Cracker Barrel. Never done a Cracker Barrel before, nope. so. Our first, actually, our first um, parking lot. We've, we've boondocked at Harvest Hosts, but I don't think we've ever boondocked No, I don't think we've ever done a parking lot before, so. Yeah. So this will be our first. Yep. So we're hitting the road. Good morning. <laughs> we successfully stayed at Cracker Barrel all night and it was actually quite pleasant. This is a very, this is a nice Cracker Barrel. Here yeah, night. great Cracker Barrel, great area. Um, you know, parking lot, you always got to consider the safety of the thing, the area you're in. This is a really nice area right here. So it was great. I had yeah. biscuits and gravy and bacon and some coffee this morning. Yeah. Um, Exciting. <laughs> It was, so you can hear the highway noise and we had our fan going, but it's kind of a white noise. My, my only thing I was thinking last night is I'm going to make a shade for our door. Because we did not have a shade on the window on our door, and it was a little bit light coming in there. Yeah, of course it's frosted, but still it's a lot of light intrusion. Yeah, I'm making a shade for that. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're heading to Austin. Let's go. See you there. <laughs> back to Dallas area from Austin. We had a great weekend, a great time with our friends, a great time seeing our grandchild. And we wanted to backtrack a little bit to the stay at, at Cracker Barrel and how that went. Um, Eric called, call, had called ahead. Yeah, so I just, just out of courtesy called ahead, make sure it was okay. And I uh, talked to the manager, and he said, fine. And we said, thank you. And we stayed at Cracker Barrel. Yeah. And we had um, a couple questions about, like, people with larger rigs or if, if someone could put their slides out. And um, I, I think, you know, it's, it's individual Cracker Barrels. You would need to, part of calling ahead, if you had a question like that, you could, you would, could ask the manager that. At this particular one, which was in Katy, near Houston, um, had a very big parking lot with designated parking places for buses and RVs. Yeah, and there was no one else there besides us. But yeah, you could have put your slide out or whatever. But well, I we did stay in the RV parking spot, but we could have easily moved to another spot in the parking lot. It was a large parking lot. But we've also been to Cracker Barrels that you know at a mall or something, so they, that would be a whole different right. So, yeah, the best thing you can do is just ask and be courteous and yeah. use common sense when you pull up. Yeah. So, um, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.